Welcome back again. We're still putting in AC. We're still doing wiring. It's okay. It's going to be bitching when we're done. Still pulling out wiring out of the car though. Um, there was one more bulkhead connector, the factory original stuff. They have wires running over to that controlled the heater fan blower motor. So that's now out of the car. And I think that's all, I'm hoping, all the original wiring from the front of this car. I believe so. I had this last connector that used to go to the old bulkhead. And that's finally been removed. So everything now in the front of this car is the new stuff that goes to the computer way over here. And I'm still not sure what I want to do because I don't like the location where it enters the car. It comes in at a really stupid spot. It comes in right behind the throttle pedal. I've got these wires here. I've got a bunch of holes you can see right through the bottom of the car right there there's like three holes right there there's another one right up underneath the steering column into the engine compartment and i just want to seal this thing so i'm trying to find another location this is all the new american auto wire stuff and this is the ls conversion stuff this is uh exhaust cutouts and then this one here is line lock so we still got a lot of wiring here to deal with but and all that wiring is leds that i put into the car so and some stereo stuff and stereo stuff but we're really getting there but I, i'm just thinking there's got to be another location to run this wire into the car you know, I just, I'm not happy with that location. So I'm going to keep looking. If worst case scenario, I'll, I'll be stuck with that and I'll consolidate and fill those, at least two of those holes up. But we're going to have a look at that right now. Welcome to the nightmare. I've also decided take this insulation crap out I'm tired of fighting with it factory stuff I got some other another solution on the way we'll cover that and we'll see about putting that on the back wall even more holes to fill uh, I'm gonna get this whole thing sealed up okay through great effort and a lot of pulling wire. I got all that wiring out of there and I managed to get it to come through another little bulkhead opening over on the other side of the fuse block. So everything can come up this side and go up into the dash and nothing will be hanging down and, and be in the way of the carpet, bulging out the carpet, under the gas pedal, none of that stuff. That was just ridiculous, whoever did that before, but now we just got to get some hole plugs, plug those up, and uh, yeah, I'll show you on the other side what we got. So everything comes into this corner now, eliminated quite a bit back in this area, and uh, yeah, pretty happy about that. And, you know, I'll be buttoning this stuff up here pretty soon. I got two wires. I think this is the starter, original starter wire. We got to get underneath there and have a look. Uh, but, yeah. So I think that's everything in the cockpit area. And we're almost ready to start putting all this wiring in. I'm still waiting on my gauges, um, plexi, thing, so I can put that dash in. And then we can start putting that all together. I think the next thing is to get my, my AC the condenser and the dryer out and start getting that stuff fitted that way i can measure how long my uh, ac lines need to be and get those things crimped up so that i can get them installed then i can hang the ac box in its place and that actually that'll be buttoned up um, and then it'll just be wiring on that and then i can get the fender it back in get the uh, engine management computer back in 
um, get these water lines connected again yeah we're making big stride I know it it just seems like oh god I'm not getting anywhere but believe it or not I actually am um, pulled all this out of the foot well as well I don't need this stuff right this minute this one here is pretty cool this uh, what is that um, brake light okay I'm not sure about that this one here there we go manual shift connector so we could do paddle shifters if we want at some point but we don't need them right now the only wires I really need are these three rpm engine oil pressure and speed out so the, I'll run those three wires through that bulkhead over in the corner and this stuff can be out here and be coiled up in this corner because I don't need it under my feet and a big wad under the car carpet. So anyway, we're hustling over here, making big headway. Okay, moving forward here, I have now got the full bulkhead in place. I've got that out of the way. Both connectors in. This is the engine harness on this side and then the headlight harness on the other side and then this coil of wires is let me zoom back a little is windshield wiper so that's just going to go right there now i have to take these wires and separate them out to where they're going some are like this is the alternator wire 12 volt main battery wire we got alternator wire and what is this starter wire so definitely coming together once we get these routed and uh, put into sheathing so they're protected then the engine compartment will be done wired getting close and we got to get that AC unit into the car we got a plan that we finally got to tackle we have to get the condenser and the dryer under the hood for the AC which is going to require moving the transmission cooler and the radiator so i went and got me this piece of metal it's a channel of aluminum and the thought here is to move the radiator out in this direction which will allow me to sandwich basically keep the transmission cooler exactly where it is but move all of this stuff this direction which will allow me then to put the radiator for the AC in front of all of it because the radiator for the AC has to be first in line okay uh, I if there was ducting underneath the front of the car I would put it the transmission cooler maybe one of them cylindrical type at the very bottom in front of the air conditioning radiator but there just isn't space for that so we're going to attempt to put that C channel right here, right in this space, right here, move the radiator this way, hopefully right in front of this sucker, have enough space, hopefully, and then we're going to make some things happen. Lordy, lordy, lordy. We're making things up as we go. Let's see what happens. Right off the bat, getting the air line out of the way, the intake and the radiator catch can which is going to give me space go ahead and loosen up that that's pass through bolts for the transmission cooler and then we'll have to cut a piece of channel to fit in there okay so i went ahead and cut and bent this piece and the plan is to drop that in between the um, radiator support and the radiator bring out the radiator just a little bit and then also use this as an air guide to fill this gap in between the radiator and uh, so the air just goes through and not around the radiator because that would not be good we want to channel it through and i'll have a nice little spot to put my tools when i'm working but ultimately i'll probably cover that up anyway uh the part I've been dreading, which is draining the fluid out of the trans cooler, 
pulling the trans cooler out I got to cut the lines because they go through the radiator support right here so I got to cut the lines undo those AN fittings and catch all the transmission fluid ay 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 clean some of this dirt up messy I disconnected the trans cooler lines and made a mess of course drained it down into the pan missed a bunch always good but now I can start snaking those lines back through and to the front and free up that transmission cooler then I can unbolt this side of the radiator move that out and then slip in my C channel piece that I made I got to drill that out for where the bolt holes go and then we can see about getting that thing in there and then we get to open up the box and see if we can get the radiator in for the air conditioning I forgot this this has got to come out guess we'll work on that while we're doing it Okay, so we kind of got this thing mocked up enough to get the uh, holes marked so I can get them drilled out. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to deal with the radiator hose. I want to put the air line or the intake ducting back in or intake hose and see what we've got. If we've got any space, hopefully we do. Um, but yeah, that's what it's going to look like. And then we can move this inside of there. And then we can get the, the uh, AC unit in there. Okay, through massive amounts of effort, I was able to get the transmission cooler back out of the car. Lines are out of the car. So now I have to drill the bracket that I'm making here. Marked it where it needs to be. So we can drill that and then get the radiator mounted back to that. And then the cooler mounted to that. Okay, big update this time around. We've now got the condenser. And that's gonna bolt up to the hood latch mechanism. Hopefully that's all going to clear. Sure it will. I had to do a little few few things different at the bottom. Modify the bracket just a little bit because I needed a little bit more clearance inside here to get the transmission cooler in, which I have yet to try fitting. But man, we're making some serious headway. Ay ay ay. Pretty good though, pretty good. This is where we're at. We have now got the condenser radiator in the car. We got the hood latch back in place. We've got the transmission cooler sandwiched between the radiator and the condenser. The, it is hanging in there on its straps, the same straps that we're holding it up here. It is perfectly balanced between these two. Nothing touches. So all that is in place. I'm very happy with that. Got a stack of radiators going. The next thing I got to do is shorten the radiator hose. So we get that bend out of it. 
so it'll just move this way so it'll be more of a straight line coming in shorten this line a little bit maybe we'll see and then we got to get this replumbed the intake replumbed and that is going to be a little bit tricky because we've got this damn MAF sensor which butts right into here but it's got to fit straight in between the pulleys and get back into our box so it really can't change any uh, angles because it's got to go straight back into the box we already made just got to deal with that math sensor other than that oh and we got to hook up the transmission lines again that line down there and there's another one we've got all the lines over here we got to deal with so these lines have to be rerouted in down here other than that we're good to go and then we can start putting all this back together again that was a big job sorry I didn't get it filmed it was just a lot of work and a, a lot of hours to just mow through it but there it is back in place now that we've got this end of the air conditioning in the next thing is we got to get our lines so we got it we do have to do some plumbing we do have to get these lines in place we got to get the dryer mounted and then we can get our lines made once the the air conditioning lines are made we can get the air conditioning box mounted we can get the fender well back in place all of our wiring over here completed which it really isn't that much i got two wires here and those two wires back there and then the whole engine compartment is done oh nope we've got to do the windshield wiper not a big deal then the entire engine bay would be buttoned up i'm looking at probably you know a day maybe two more days up in the engine compartment and then that's completely finished we're mounting the air conditioning box and then we're doing gauges so here's a question to everybody regarding this mass airflow sensor it was in this direction but i moved the radiator can this be tilted up a little bit like that is that a problem or does it have to be horizontal I'm out here at the Fridge King getting my air conditioning lines crimped so I can finally get the AC unit under the dash and get that thing buttoned up. So things are moving along. Chris is helping me back there behind the counter. And yeah, we're getting this thing moving. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, we're going to see if we can get this air conditioning unit under the dash, see if we can get some lines crimped up, and see if we can deal with all that leftover wiring that's still under the dash. Maybe there's a new route we can take for all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.